A Taiwan will extend its mandatory military service from the current four months to one year starting 2024. But analysts and the public are divided on whether the move could really be effective at countering threats. Victoria Jen with this report. Taiwan President Tsai Ing-wen says the move to extend military conscription to one year was a hard decision to make. But she adds it's necessary to counter the military threat from China. The monthly salary for conscripts has also increased threefold to 860 U.S. dollars, the biggest hike on record. The decision was made at a National Security Council meeting convened by Ms. Tsai. Cross-street tensions have been escalating over the past year, especially after China launched its biggest military drill around Taiwan in early August, following U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's visit to the island. And there's been mounting criticism over the four-month conscription, which is deemed as insufficient to counter China's military threat. Currently, there are 170,000 active military personnel in Taiwan, only one-tenth that of mainland China. So some analysts believe the latest move would help improve the island's defense capability in case of contingencies. Taiwan有没有那么多的基地,包括它的后勤训练等等的,让这些增加的兵员得到足够的,而且是适当的训练,目前没有人知道。some analysts, however, said Taiwan could tap on technology and artificial intelligence to beef up its troops' combat readiness. But some young Taiwanese remain skeptical. In the past, all Taiwanese men over 18 had to serve two to three years in the military. This was gradually reduced to one year in 2008 and reduced further to four months in 2018 over concerns about a labor shortage. But recent polling showed that most Taiwanese now believe that's too short. Based on a recent survey by the Taiwanese Public Opinion Foundation, more than 70 percent of Taiwanese support the move to extend military conscription to one year. This, despite another survey by Global Views Monthly, showed that more than half of Taiwanese do not want to go to battle with China. And among them, 70 percent are under the age of 30. So even as Taiwan beefs up its defense capability, analysts say the island should still strive to maintain communications with China. China has considered Taiwan part of its territory, awaiting reunification by force if necessary. And the military service announcement came just two days after Chinese military exercises near Taiwan, which were held in response to what Beijing described as provocations and collusion between Washington and Taipei. Victoria Jen, CNA, Taipei.